So we need to talk about web development in 2024. So if you follow a lot of tech influencers on social media, they're saying the golden age of tech is dead. You turn on the news and Microsoft's laying off 1,900 people and Google's laying off several hundred more. And there's a lot of market conditions out there that seem terrible. I was on Twitter the other day and saw a guy saying that we're in the managed phase of tech. In other words, the companies that have been established are already there and we're just going to manage the decline. No new tech, no new innovation. It's over. The golden age of tech is dead, right? Let's start off by looking at a chart from TechCrunch and the data from layoffs.fyi. Now, this is a chart for the year of 2023. If we go back to the beginning of 2023 in January, there was 89,000 layoffs. If fast forward to December of 2023, that number had dropped to 7,000. So it looks like the worst of these layoffs we've already been through and we're coming on the other side of this. Now, layoffs are never good for anyone. And if you got laid off in 2023, I know that can be emotional. But just because there was layoffs in 2023 doesn't mean the market for development is dead. Let's look at some more data. According to Evans Data Corporation, last year there was 26.3 million software developers worldwide. And that is a 3% increase compared to 2021. This company anticipated that growth will continue with global tech headcount expected to hit 29.3 million by 2027. Now, where are these regions going to grow at? Well, the Asian Pacific will probably lead it with India leading the way at 17%. North America demonstrated that the second strongest growth at 15% followed by Latin America. Data presented by Statistia shows that in 2018, there was 23 million programmers worldwide. Over the past five years, the global developer population grew by more than 20%, amounted to 27.7 million developers in 2023. And looking further out in 2024, this number is going to reach 28.7 million people. According to Slash Data Forecast, and this is based on like current population, internet penetration rate, percentage of developers per capita, we can expect that the number of software developers will almost double later in the decade to about 45 million in 2030. According to data in the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, one of the fastest growing jobs is software development. They expect software development to grow by 25% over the next decade. But what about all the layoffs? <laughs> That's a good question, John. And the layoffs did happen. They were real. And we had some downturn in 2023. But we as humans love bad news. And therefore, news organizations like to report bad news. They're never going to tell you about something good. They only report the negative. And also social media influencers that have only been around for five or six years. They've never been in a downturn before. And so let me take you through history lane. Because I've been around for a minute. In 2002, we had something called the tech bubble. Many name brand companies went out of business. In 2008, we had the banking crisis or what we call the Great Recession from 2008 to 2009. Banks went under over a weekend. Unemployment was 10%. Housing prices declined by 30%. And the S&P 500 dropped 57%. In 2020, during the pandemic, we closed down the entire country. And in 2022, we had high interest rates. We had this looming fear of AI. We had a lot of things going on that turned the market down. I call that tech bubble too. But here's one thing you need to understand. Through all of that, web development and software development always grew. Consistently, year over year, in spite of the macroeconomic things that we saw. In fact, many companies were built out of the 2008 and 2009 recession, including Uber, and Airbnb and Slack, companies that you know today as being big and leaders in their industry grew out of that recession. And the same thing is gonna happen from here. But one thing we can say about this second tech bubble, the one that we just experienced, it wasn't nearly as bad as 02 or 08 or 2020. It's a lot less. Now, if you got laid off in that time, I have compassion for you, I feel that. But I want you to know that web development grew every single year for the last 25 years. And experts and people that follow this are telling you it's going to do it again. 
because we have a lot of things that we can look forward to that are happening. We have AR and VR revolution. We have an AI coming out. A lot of opportunities for developers. While we're talking about AI, will it take my job? That's a good question, John. And a lot of people are afraid of AI. But I need you to think of this as an opportunity, not as a threat. Visual Studio Magazine released an article and they talked about code churn. And code churn is the amount of code that had to be replaced two weeks after it was written. And they expect this code churn metric to double in 2024. And that is compared to 2021 pre-AI development. What does this mean to you? This means AI replacing you as a developer is a ways off, if ever. And I need you to think about AI as a help to you as a coder, not as a threat. It's an opportunity, not something that's going to replace you anytime soon in the future. So will there be more or fewer developers in 2024? History tells us more. People that track this industry, that compile statistics around job growth, tells us it will double over the next decade. But no one hires junior developers though, right? Now John, that's a good question. And it's a lot of fear that a lot of people have. And many times people think I'm going to undertake all this study to become a developer only to find out the market doesn't want me. Let me ask you a question. If the number of jobs is going to double over the next decade, where are those people going to come from? We can't hire out of the current population to fill all those new roles. We need brand new people to hit the need that needed by 2030. Now, this means that developers will get hired. But what you should be asking is not if junior developers get hired. It's how do I get hired? What do I need to know? How do I break in? Now, I think junior developer isn't the same thing that a lot of people in social media will tell you. A lot of people in social media will tell you that you just need a little HTML, CSS, and you're good to go. I think junior developers need to pursue full stack web development in order to kind of give them the best road to success in 2024. And if I was starting today, this is what I would do. Step one, I would learn HTML, CSS, and particularly I would learn Bootstrap. Now there is Tailwind out there, but Bootstrap is the most used CSS framework in the market today. And these two technologies, HTML and CSS, allow you to build web pages. Step two, I would learn JavaScript, specifically how do I manipulate the DOM with JavaScript. And these are essential skills for you to build modern website applications. Step three, I would learn some type of SQL language so I can work with databases on the back end. And step four, I would learn some kind of server side language like C Sharp, Java, or Node.js. And of those three server side languages, what we feel here at Coder Foundry is C Sharp is the best one to learn. In fact, they have a complete framework called Blazor that allows you to bring this whole skill set together and build modern web applications using ASP.NET and Blazor. And we think that's the best way to break in as a web developer in 2024 by pursuing full stack web development. So would you like a step-by-step -step guide to become a web developer in 2024? Look at the description and the link is provided below to give you a document that will give you more detail about the things we've been talking about in this video. But the path is pretty clear. You need to pursue full stack web development in 2024. And this means you're signed up for continuous learning and dedication, something I like to call commitment to craft. And if that sounds like you, you don't need to worry if the jobs will be there. History tells us they will be. Industry experts are telling it's going to double over the next decade. The question is, will your skills be there? Anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.